Montreal sweep. Monday, Ozzie Guillen got tossed by third, play, third base umpire from Tuesday night's game. Sox retake the lead. Bottom six will be manager Ozzie Guillen's final inning of participation. He argues with home plate umpire Jerry Davis over the strike zone. Thought his man struck out Eli Morrell. Wonder if they... Size record for wins in April in Oakland. Justin Dukeshire pitching, and Joe Creedy uh, leans into that one. Hunter Wendelstadt, his daddy was an ump. He's been preparing for moments like this his entire life, and Creedy clearly lowers his left arm to get a hit on purpose. Come on back. And Ozzie Guillen, these two have a history. He and one's called Wendelstadt a liar, and we continue. Creedy, you see him throw his bat. Wendelstadt's going to toss him as soon as this ball is caught. The ball is caught. Creedy is gone, and for what? For the season, bottom four, Jermaine Dye facing Josh Towers. That's low and away, called a strike. Ozzie Guillen watching his ace getting shelled, and that pitch enough to bring him out. Bottom of third, same score, John Danks on the mound for the White Sox facing Lyle Overbay. Starts to swing, and went right off his hand. Hit by the pitch as he began to swing. It's not feeling good. Overbay's granted first base, as the rules would suggest. He had not swung the bat. He had just started to do so. White Sox manager Ozzie Guillen comes out to dispute all this. Gets into it with third base umpire Chuck Merriweather. My watch costs more than your car. And then the home plate umpire Alfonso Marquez has words. And he's going to run the manager. He doesn't want to listen. It's over. He's gone. Alfonso Marquez. He cheesy play in the eighth. Mark DeRosa at the plate. Angel Pagan first. Felix Pia at second. And DeRosa. Their drive one. Deep into right field. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Rob Makoviak will retrieve it, get it back to the infield. Paul Konerko gets it, eventually makes a throw to second, and Pagan is tagged out going back to the base. DeRosa then caught in a rundown. Konerko says, you know what, I'm going to get the guy headed home, Felix P.A. He's caught another pickle here between third and home. He's tagged out by Josh Fields. Crazy double play, but looks like two outs nonetheless, right? Well, uh, no. Umpires convene. You know, talking to the infield about obstruction, Ozzie Guillen's like two outs for me. What, what's there to discuss? Umpires continue discussing rule 7.06B. Lou Pinnell's confused, and we'll look at this more closely. Juan Uripe appears to be obstructing Angel Pagan. Third base ump Ed Hickox calls it right away. Ditto Ed Rapuano there at second. So at this point, you just let it play out and then sort it out. Pagan tagged there at second, eventually PA. They're headed home. Doesn't matter because of the obstruction. Crew Chief Cowboy Joe West signaling that all the Cubbies are going back to some bases. PA to third, Pagan to second. DeRosa's going to go to first. Ozzie Guillen's going to come out, argue the call, but was he was polite, but PO'd. Asked West to run him eventually, and the Cowboy, out you go. So you get, uh, you'll get no outs and you'll like it. One nothing Angels, two nothing in the ninth when Francisco Rodriguez strikes out AJ Pruszynski, and here they go. Pruszynski makes his feelings known. He gets the heave ho. Then it's Ozzy's turn. He's tossed, but he gives Marquez a souvenir, his lineup card. So Ozzy wasn't around for the last two outs of the Sox two nothing loss to the Angels. Watch him throw the helmet though. The helmet goes back towards him, and that and was that's it. automatic ejection. Ozzie Guillen came out briefly, but then turned and walked away. So Josh Fields hit into a 5-4 fielder's choice. <laughs> and now Ozzie is laughing at Mike DeMuro, and I think Ozzie's been given the heave ho. Well, the Kansas City's and the Cleveland's struggling somewhat. Kansas City losers of five in a row coming into tonight's action. The Indians losers of six in a row. And Joe West has heard enough. Now we'll see who exactly he threw out. Buckled at the knees here. Adam Everett, I think he was getting ready to walk back to the dugout, too. <laughs> Everybody knew it. That crossed the plate. That was a strike. That crossed the plate right in the middle of the plate. And I think Carlson is hearing it from the dugout. And I think Ozzy might have been given the boot. And now Ozzy's getting warmed up.
his team has not played well. He's seeing the Central maybe slip away with the Tigers and the Twins playing such good baseball. And now he's on the uh, the precipice of losing two out of three to the Yankees. And maybe he's just trying to fire up his team. But uh, he came out to protect Pruszynski, who gets a little chatty. And uh, he ended up getting thrown out by the home plate umpire, Dan Iasonia. Uh-oh. Yeah, he called the balk. And Mark Burley can't believe it because he's been using that move for as long as he's been in the league. Joe looks like he is looking for problems with us. Well, he's telling Ozzy, don't come out. He's going to throw Ozzy out of the game if he does. I tell you, the last couple of years, Mr. West has had some problems with the White Sox. Well, I'm. And now he's telling Ozzy to get. You, you know, he's, he, he knew that he was going to throw he's, him he's out. A joke. He came he's up. becoming a joke, is what he's doing. He's becoming a joke to the umpiring profession. Viciedo striking out on the check swing. He was called out by home plate umpire Tim Simmons. Ozzy Gian doing what he does, jarring. Timmons not having any of it, and he tosses Gian. Gian coming out to talk a little bit, argue a little bit, yell a little bit. Speak his mind, and he's ejected for the fourth time this season. All right. Can they turn it? No. Yeah, it's too quick. Well, they were turning it about as fast as he could, and now Ozzy's going to come out to talk with Bob Davidson. Look from up here. Look from up here, like he was safe. I thought. I thought he was safe also. So we move to the top of the fifth. Gregor Blanco on first with nobody out. Burley tries the pickoff throw, but he's called for a balk, his second of the game. Burley not happy about it, but Ozzy Gian more unhappy about it. Comes out to argue the call, and he's tossed. Pitch to Canerco. And then in between innings, Ozzy. This is, the, this is the hottest I have ever seen Ozzy since he's been managing. Well, he let it all go. He certainly got his money's worth and then some. Drops down, breaking ball. That ball was foul. Well, not according to James Hoy. That ball was foul. If he can't see it because he's blocked by Soto, he needs to get some help. This one would qualify as a borderline call. Let's see where it was. And just off the plate. And Ozzy Guillen right now in Bellino's face. Skaggs would settle down though. In the third, he picks off Jose Reyes. The D backs throw down to second to get Reyes out. And then after the play, Ozzy Guillen not happy. He throws some water on the field and is ejected by first base umpire Angel Campos. Guillen was unhappy, thinking Skaggs balked on a pitch prior to the pickoff. 